Hello everyone, my name is Anna and good day everyone. What a beautiful day it is today. It is sunny and it is colorful again in my backyard. We had a uh, cool down last week. For about a few days, we were in the 80s, high 80s and low 90s. Uh, low 90 degrees Fahrenheit that is already a cool down for us coming from 105 degrees and above temperature that was a cool down we had rain um, we had I think a couple of days of rain a good amount of rain here in Vegas I did not experience it because I was in California last week and I've been waiting for the rain too but I wasn't here to see it but anyway I was told that we had a good amount of rain and I could see the effect of it on my plants a lot of them look more plump than when I left them so I was away for about a week and my gosh the buds the buds that were sitting there for about a month or two doing nothing all of a sudden in a few days they suddenly grew bigger and a lot of them actually bloomed and they opened up so these are the ones that open up for today i had a few more yesterday let's start off with this one this is a mammillaria barchella schumanni oh so beautiful this is one of my favorite mammillaria because of the pretty large flowers it's almost a perfect crown i just wish this would open up later these are the second day that the, they are open so hopefully later or maybe tomorrow morning if that opens up it will be a perfect crown And then another mammillaria here this is a mammillaria tetransistra i found out that it is actually native here in nevada though i got this from california <laughs> from rob roy and then this one is a lobivia winteriana this is my recent purchase or recent order from planet desert it came with flower buds oh, uh oh almost dropped it so it came with flower buds and i'm glad they did not drop and i think one is now starting to open up okay this one is a lobivia hybrid blaze another beautiful um cultivar of a lobivia so this is lobivia blaze okay and this is um this is a rebutia um what is the name k kissling g i kissling g i don't know <laughs> this was the uh, one of the seedlings that was given to me by my friend brian from puerto rico hmm first time flowering so it's got orange flowers and then i have a rainbow burst here it is hot again today so look the petals are starting to curl up because of the heat it is noontime now and we are back to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And then this one is a Lobivia rightiana. But this went through a lot. It uh, suffered from mealybugs damage, root mealybugs. So it had mealybugs in the roots and on the plant. And I treated it. That's why it looks like this. And then it suffered from root loss because of the mealybugs so it grew very thin and uh, looks dehydrated but i think it has or it is recovering because now it is forming flowers once again and there are more buds developing i just hope all those buds will continue to develop and uh, flowers will open but this has very pretty flowers so even though the cactus looks weird i am hoping you know that it will later on form offsets and i can start this out again in a new pot before i continue i just would like to thank one subscriber braulio thank you so much i'm sorry if i'm saying your name incorrectly but braulio is from the us but he is originally from costa rica 
And recently, he told me he went home to his country and got some coffee. He wanted me to try some of uh, coffee from Costa Rica. So he sent me a couple here. I am so excited to try them out. I haven't tried any coffee from Costa Rica. And this one, uh, this uh, beans in a small bag, he said, this one is special because this one comes from a family from the Chiapas, Mexico area. So he, is, he said that this was grown and roasted by the indigenous peoples of Chiapas. It is roasted on a wood stove, so it is somewhat unevenly roasted, but it has a very smoky taste. So very interesting. I'm uh, very interested to try this out. So Braulio, thank you so much. I received all the coffee that you sent me. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching and following my channel. I had a few more flowers that opened yesterday, so I had a Trichocereus, the volcanic sunset, had a flower, there's another orange Trichocereus, and then my Cleistocactus also flowered. So I will show you the pictures of the flowers here that I had yesterday. So like I said earlier, many of these were already in bud since uh, late spring or early summer. But they just sat there. The buds just sat there doing nothing. Probably because of the extreme heat. So I I think it is the cactus way of conserving their energy. Um, because flowering takes a lot of energy. And a lot of um, water is consumed when they open up their flowers. So because it was extremely hot, they did not develop their flowers but the little cool down that we had and the little humidity that we experienced due to the rain made them grow their buds again and a lot of them opened up <laughs> okay so that is it for my quick update on what happened after the cool down and the rain here in vegas okay if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up Follow me on Facebook, it's Cactus Caffeine, and in Instagram, Cactus Caffeine USA. Until next time, guys, bye everyone, and cheers!